This movement mechanic completely breaks the movement system. You should use it now. And just a disclaimer, I did not find this. I found it on Reddit from a guy named Dia FPS. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. But I'll link his socials in the description, so go and check him out. So if you guys can like and subscribe, that will be greatly appreciated. Since we're almost near 4000. And also, this method utilizes multi-binding. Comment down below if you think it's a cheat and if it should be deleted from the game or whatever. So with that being said, let's get into it. So this movement mechanic utilizes the momentum you get after grappling with Pathfinder. So what the basic mechanics are behind it is just jumping every time you hit the floor and then moving forward. And that's where the multi-bind is going to come in. We're just going to click scroll way up or you can change it to wherever you want. But for my case, I'm going to set it to scroll way up. So whenever I click that, it's going to jump and move forward at the exact same time. So now I'm going to show Dia FPS's POV and what it looks like. So let's look at it. As you can see from this clip, every time he jumps, he's keeping the momentum from the grapple that he did earlier. So I feel like this movement mechanic is one of those movement mechanics where it's all up to the server and your ping. It's like a super glide where you can't really do it consistently every time, but you can still somewhat do it. So yeah, it's one of those movement mechanics where it's up to the FPS and server tick time. So with that being said, let me show you guys how to create a multi-bind. Alright, just to speed things up, it will be easier if you guys just follow along on what I'm doing. So you go over here, you go to Steam, you go to your library where it says Apex Legends, right click, go to Properties, Local Files, click Browse, it says you go to CFG right here. And then if you don't have an auto exec, the way you do it is you copy this config default PC, copy it, paste it, it should make a different one like this. So matter of fact, let me just do it real quick. Paste. You click it. Control A. Delete everything out of it. And then click save and rename it to auto exec. And what you put inside it is these two things. It's going to be in the description. But the main thing we're looking for inside here. Or the main thing we're going to paste inside here is this. The first line of code. Your mouse way up is going to bind to plus forward, which is moving you forward and jump. So every time you mouse way up, you're going to move forward and you're going to jump. So once you do that, save, and then you're done for the auto exec. You go here. So you go here to Apex Legends, right click properties, general, and then you put this inside here in the launch options. And yeah, you're done. You can just load into the game right now. Alright, so now that you're loaded into firing range, just something to keep in mind. If you're going to the left side with this method, you're going to hold A. And if you're going to the right side, you're going to hold D. Never hold W when you're doing this because you're going to lose all momentum like a bunny hop. So every single time you hit the ground, if you're going right, you hold D and then you scroll it up. So I put this clip in slow motion. You see when I hit the ground, I look to the right and then scroll way up. You can see my momentum boost me in the air and I keep doing that every single time. So you can see how every time I hit the ground, I look to the right, hold D and then scroll way up. And just one more time, it's crucial every time you hit the ground to either go right or left and then scroll way up. You see that momentum boost every time I hit the ground, I move forward. That's what you need to be aiming for. So right now I'm showing it in third person. You can see how you can do it directionally too. This entire movement mechanic is just knowing when to scroll way up. That is the main crucial part of this entire movement mechanic. As you see here, you don't have to do it off the first jump once you end the grapple. You can do it off the second jump. So keep that in mind when you're learning this. So yeah, it's a pretty complex technique to learn. But once you learn it, you can get some insane clips with it. So that's it, like and sub, share this to your friends, and I'm out, peace.